my name is Dave Rittenhouse, and I support uh, the Dreamlifter operations, the whole global enterprise uh, associated with uh, flying this aircraft around the world, picking up parts and uh, tools and equipment for support of the uh, 787 Dreamliner. I'm a uh, liaison engineer, and I help support the production of the airplane. So if there's problems found while we're building or modifying an airplane, my group defines uh, designs repairs for that. I believe the name of this plane, obviously it derives from the, uh, from the Dreamliner. The Dreamlifter is a natural progression from that. I believe they actually surveyed uh, Boeing employees uh, for ideas, and uh, Dreamlifter was the best one they could choose from. If I was involved uh, ever since a preliminary design, so before, when it was still a concept, I got involved with the Dreamlifter program. And then I followed it into the actual detailed design, helping review and looking for problems that could occur. And then actually when we started physically modifying the airplane, that's when we were on site there to support. The intent is to transport 787 major uh, structural components. Uh, that includes uh, the, the full barrel sections uh, made out of composite materials, uh, the wings, and the horizontal stabilizers. This particular plane uh, modification finished last month. Uh, we have two planes also in service right now. Uh, and we had a fourth uh, coming online next year. One of the most rewarding moments on the program is when I got to travel with the airplane to Grattalia, Italy. And we had the airplane there for our first pickup of a 787 part. And the goal on this program, with which a challenge it was, a schedule, was to be ready before the 787 was ready. And I got a picture of myself inside the airplane, looking out as the tail opens, and the loader is empty in the background, meaning we beat the 787. Cirrus Design's Vision SJ50 single-engine personal jet offers exceptional fuel efficiency, flexible seating for up to seven, advanced avionics, and all the Cirrus safety features you expect, including the Cirrus airframe parachute system. With its V-tail design, the Cirrus Vision is technologically advanced, yet engineered to be simple to fly, to allow owner pilots more lifestyle pursuits than any other personal aircraft. Learn more about the Vision SJ50 at cirrusdesign.com. It's actually the largest, the largest uh, plane of a plane in the world by volume, but it really behaves a lot like a 747-400. So there are real no, no, no truly exceptional challenges involved, other than the normal, uh, normal day-to-day -day operations about making sure that the equipment is staged and uh, and everything is ready to operate. Just about everything on this airplane is unique. Um, it's conventional aluminum construction, but it's a non-pressurized airplane, so the the loads are different. Uh, the, the mission of the airplane is different than anything we normally work with on a commercial airplane, so it's quite a bit different. It's by far the, my, my best experience with the Boeing company so far. It's been fantastic. I mean, I, I can't think of another situation within Boeing where we're actually uh, designing, modifying the plane, and using it as an end user as well. It's really exciting. We can only operate out of certain airports, uh, limited by the size of the uh, size of the length of the runway. It does require a lot of specialized equipment that has to be pre-staged at, uh, at those airports. Uh, uh, tail supports, uh, loaders, uh, many specialized pieces of equipment. The Dreamlifter is capable of hauling 42 million ping pong balls. A 10 lane bowling alley on three levels. Or 8 million 12 ounce cans of your favorite beverage. With room for a restaurant. You've heard of this thing called WAS, right? The Wide Area Augmentation System lets you fly GPS glide path approaches without relying on ground-based landing aids. No VOR, no ILS, no problem. Fact is, WAS is so smart, it even knows what you're going to say next time you need it. And don't have it on board. Wah! Wah! I want my WAS now! I was really crying there for a second. The first flight was the most rewarding, uh, seeing this thing take off after all the, the years, literally years, that we put into making it come together, and uh, it was incredible to see it take off there in Taiwan. From what the pilots tell me, it flies a lot like a regular 747-400, so generally if they're qualified to fly a 47400, you know, there are some differences training, differential training they go through, um, but uh, ultimately it's supposed to handle and behave much like a regular 47. The work itself is very rewarding, and so that in itself is motivating, but it's the, it's the sacrifices you make to family and friends to, to make a project like this successful. So I'm fortunate to be here, and to me it's just incredible to see all the history and all the true airplane people. That's very refreshing. 
so I'm getting questions about the airplane, not about a lot of other stuff. Uh, we're here for 25 hours. We flew in last night and we, uh, we fly out at 6 o'clock today, so uh, right back into revenue service, right back in the game after we're done here.